Okay, so adding complex fractions, I want to start out the video uh, by just simplifying, by just simplifying one. And I started the video before I had my problem completely written, so you'll have to excuse me, please. So here we go. The first thing I want to do is look at this. This is our problem. I just want to simplify this, this whole thing right here. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at this stuff down here in the yellow as if it was its own problem. And realize here that this 8 is the same as 8 over 1, isn't it? So here we have a denominator of x, and here we have a denominator of 1, and they're not the same, so we can't really add these fractions together. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to multiply the left-hand side right here by x over x. To start out with y x, because x times 1 is x, and then we'll have a denominator of x here and a denominator of x here, so we'll be able to add them together. y x over x, because 1 is the multiplicative identity. That is to say, 1 times any number just gives you that number back. So we know that x over x has got to be 1. So I'm not really doing anything. I'm just changing the form of it. So what happens is this. So if I rewrite this, I'm going to rewrite it down over here if you don't mind, is 8 times x is 8x, right? x times 1 is x. But you can see that x over x is just 1 and 1 times, I'm sorry, 8 times 1 is x, isn't it? But look, when I do the plus 1 over x, that gave me some help, didn't it? I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But in the meantime, I want to go over here because this is 4 over 1. So x over 5 plus 4 over 1, they don't have the same denominator. So we need the same denominators here. So I'm going to multiply this side by 5 over 5, which is just 1. And look what's going to happen here. We get x over 5. I'm just going to rewrite that x over 5 here. Plus 4 times 5 is 20. And 1 times 5 is 5. Look, nothing changed. 20 over 5 is still 4. But look what happens here. I'm just going to keep simplifying. If we had, look, if we had 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, we wouldn't add the denominators. we just bring it along, wouldn't we? we make sure the same, and then we bring them along. And then we add the numerators, 1 plus 2, right? So this would be the 1 plus 2 up here would be 3 fourths, right? I'm taking the same elementary principle from here and applying it here. So I'm looking at this thing here. I'm saying this denominator of 5 and this denominator of 5 are the same. So we have a denominator of 5. And x plus 20 is, well, x plus 20, because I don't know what x is, right? All right. Now, this it's called a solidus, but this division bar is this division bar, all right? So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add these pieces. They have the same denominator. They're both over x, so the whole thing will be over x, won't it? And then we have 8x plus 1. Well, 8x plus 1, it's 8x is plus 1, something that's not an x, so I can't add them, add them. So we get this, okay? Now, at the top of the video, I wrote this. This is the theorem of complex fractions, and it says that a over b over c over d is exactly the same as taking a over b and multiplying it by d over c. And what that is saying is that you just take the reciprocal of this bottom thing. Okay? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to apply this theorem right here to this problem. So in the numerator, I have x plus 20 over 5. That's, right, that's this, let's call this the numerator and call this the denominator, right? times, and I said I'm going to take the reciprocal of the bottom. So the x was at the bottom, goes to the top. The 8x plus 1 was at the top, goes to the bottom, 8x plus 1. All right? And then we have to multiply this stuff. Wow, this one really turned out to be a lot, didn't it? It really did. And this is x times x is x squared. x times 20 is plus 20x. And then we'll get... Right, just checking our math here will be, and you know, I don't even have to do this. You know what I'm not going to do? I'm just going to take this x right here and say it's this x. I'm going to say this is x plus 20 here. And I'm going to take this 5 here and put it out here 5 and take my x plus 8x plus 1 and put it here. All right, this is one of those things you just have to keep working at, and you're going to get great at it, and it kind of sucks. But when you get good at this, it enables you to do really, really challenging math. So please don't give up on this. I hope you like this video in quotation marks, and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Thanks.